Hi, I'm at the Sustainable Packaging Symposium, and I am here with Jim Hanna, who is the Director of Environmental Impact at Starbucks, and he's going to talk about um, Starbucks materials and a little bit about their sustainability programs. Sure, thanks for having me. And, and really the, the challenge we're facing is all about this cup right here. And ironically, from a footprint perspective, it's, it really represents a tiny portion of our environmental footprint. You know, for us, the operation of our stores and our roasting plants and all those different big heavy operations are really what drive Starbucks climate footprint. But to our customers, it's all about the cup. And, and the ironic part is, our customers really need to solve, help us solve this recyclable cup initiative that we've launched in 2009 um, before they can actually even give us permission to talk about these amazing things we're doing around green building, amazing things we do around ethical sourcing of our coffee and our supply chain. We're frankly we're really differentiating ourselves from our customers. So my project over the last couple of years and, and in on to 2015 is, is how do we find solutions to recycle this cup um, within the current systems. One of the cool things about AICHE is, is its members are really the ones designing the solutions and really creating the life cycle impacts and creating the actual mechanical solutions to what's going to recycle our products. But what we're really discovering is that if we don't take a systems approach to this and if we continue to try to make decisions uh, in our silos, we're not going to solve this. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of perceived sort of barriers to recycling this cup. You know, it's, it's a poly-coated cup. Um, and when you get it, it's full of food contamination. It's got a sleeve on there. It's got a polystyrene lid. Initially, when we launched this project, the, the perception by, I think, the paper industry was that these paper cups didn't really represent a valuable commodity to the recycling stream. And so, frankly, no one actually collected them um, for recycling in municipal sectors. And our challenge was to really create a market-based solution so that paper mills would start demanding poly-coated paper cups, not just from Starbucks, but from any customer, which would create the mechanism for the recyclers to actually invest in the technology to separate these materials out and sell them to the paper mills. So it's a, you know, we worked backwards, I think, and, and started at the end on this, but really engaged the entire value chain, um, even brought in some big brains from MIT to help us with systems thinking and really help us understand who we needed to engage along that entire system so that we could create some good market solutions for our cup. The exciting part about it is we recently run some good mill trials at a mill called Mississippi River, obviously in Mississippi, and they actually make the post-consumer fiber for all of our existing cups today. We gave them a bunch of cups and let them play with them, and they discovered that hmm, these, these pulp up just fine. They meet the FDA requirements, and we turned those recycled cups back right back into new Starbucks cups. In April, we're actually going to be launching uh, right here in Chicago. Uh, we're going to start collecting cups in all of our retail stores in Chicago, and we're going to send all those cups up to a Georgia Pacific mill in Green Bay, Wisconsin, that actually makes all of our napkins for us. And so these are some really cool closed loop stories of, you know, eventually I'll be able to print right on my cups made from old Starbucks cups, or print right on my napkins made from old Starbucks cups. Um, but we're really defining endpoint solutions on a regional scale to send those market signals to the recyclers so that eventually the recyclers will say, it makes sense for me now to invest in a technology to separate out polycoated paper um, from the rest of the mixed waste paper stream and sell that to, to the highest bidder um, and really create a, a market solution for our cups. So we're really excited about this process, this project. Um, again, you know, the, the members of AICHE are so critical in helping us through the solutions in this process because you guys are the ones on the ground in these mills, you know, in these plants, actually designing these processes to help us through the system um, and, and help us uh, find the solution not only for Starbucks, but for all the retailers out there who are in single-serve packaging. So thanks to AICHE and, uh, and appreciate the time.